G'day gang, Danny, how's it going folks? Back in the world of Warcraft on the human palette in Artraxius as we start questing through Kalimdor and the Barrens. Hello. More specifically, Harvest Chaos. May the stars guide you. If I have truly sown chaos, it is time for reaping. The lumbering outgrowths of plant life shamble through the imbued stream here, Artraxius. They are a direct manifestation of the unstable forces mutating this area. Slay as many as you can, and we might be able to slow the spread of the overgrowth further. And while you're at it, be on the lookout for parts of them that appear especially corrupted. Bring any such pieces to me. Till next to me. What brings you here? Sowing a solution? Based on what you've brought me, I think we may have a solution. I've imbued the lash vine seeds with healing energies. Simple contact with these should imbue the creatures here with enough energy to force out the corrupted influence. Go and attempt to heal the mutated raptors and plane striders by sprinkling the seeds on them and report the results back to me. Go in peace. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So much overgrowth. Oh, we got a squirming heart, nice. Two more. That was somewhat satisfying. What is this? Yes, we shall find out soon enough. Soon. Oh, that's not what. <laughs> Probably not what we wanted to happen. Results may vary. Okay, that one's alright. That one's alright, that one's alright. <laughs> Dude, just straight up. Explode. So his plane striders are okay. No, that guy's not happy. There is he. You just need to calm down. Push too far. Just run away till they give up. Use my escape button. Uh, 
I've been expecting you. Oh dear, it seems the forces at work here are a bit difficult to control. Please, don't bother Narelex with this. It will only upset him. We shall meet. Can I assist you? And you light your path. Cutting down the out outgrowth? Will merely buy us some time. Have you found any suspicious pieces? A squirming heart seething with dark energies. Good luck, friend. Narelex slowly takes the squirming heart from you, visibly disturbed. I've been a fool. The one truth I did not want to accept has been staring me in the face this entire time. This foul thing is proof of that. You and I have much to work, much work to do. Goddess, watch over you. The nightmare scar? This confirms that the overgrowth here is not only being used, caused, not being caused by a mere overabundance of energy. Do you understand? This is beyond what happened at the Wailing Caverns now. The rift into the nightmare must have torn open in the middle of the very land we're standing on. And to think, it's my fault. I'm done picking at the edges of this wound. Go to the west, to the center of the overgrowth, and meet me again there. We will dive into the heart of this corruption and force it to shut. Be careful. Will we? There must have been that purpley thing over there. That void looking area. Greetings. This is it. I can sense that this was once the site of great tragedy. Mortal suffering still echoes through it. No doubt this is what the horrors beyond have seized onto. To fully seal this intrusion into our world, I must first fully open it. I will need your strength to hold back whatever may attempt to come through. Are you prepared? I'm ready, Narelex. Goddess, watch over you. Now we'll attempt to open the scar, to seal the scar, Draxius. Make sure nothing from the other side makes its way through. <laughs> Nightmare horrors. <laughs> By the light you shall not pass! Enemies from the void? Minions, minions of the old gods? The loom be with you. The scar is sealed. Thank you, Sonarius. The loom light your path. We've done it. The Nightmare's connection to this place has been severed. The rest of the land is safe from this intrusion now, and in time, the aberrations here will be subsumed by the balance of nature. I cannot thank you enough, Artraxius. By helping to restore to here, you've let me make amends for my foolish actions. Scepter of Narelex. The Cudgel of Narelex. Oh, look at that thing. I'll take that. Careful. Life from the dream. Cudgel of Narelex. Cool. Alright, so that's done. How may I help? I will stay here and watch over the land as it heals. Do keep an eye out for any stragglers from here. It's a leaving bay. We head towards to the front. Got an alliance, some alliance banners over here. I'm gonna catch up with Ambassador Gaines, who we rescued previously. Incoming horde. What? To arms. Horde wasted. Well met. Atraxius, how can I help you, old friend? Go with honor. Ah, oh, Atraxius, I've been talking you up to the general here. Thank you again for saving my life. Be careful. Diplomacy by another means. 
I have not forgotten my brush with death at the hands of the Quill Boy in that filthy jungle. The general here has ordered some tactical strikes, but he stops short of genocide. I have no such qualms. You take this horn that I borrowed during the negotiations, you blow the horn within the bristleback challenge ring west of our position, you can't miss it. I want you to challenge the champion of the bristleback, Saber Snout, to single combat. His death in front of his followers will leave them in utter chaos. Light bless you. Greetings. General Hawthorne? What is your name, Paladin? Artraxius? Well, welcome to the Barons. You are standing at the vanguard of one of our most important operations on this continent. I would be honored if you were to lend us your strength. Tell me what happened to Raho. Raho? For the Alliance. Oh, the ruins of Taraho. Over there? Need help? Oh, yes. Our assault on the Horde town of Taraho. I struggle with the implications of the decision. Taraho was admittedly what you might call a soft target, primarily a hunter's camp. Still, it had been used to recruit, equip, and train Horde infantry for many years. When our scouts reported that Taraho's most Dangerous units were out on the hunt. We had to act quickly. We sacked the town. Hawthorne wrinkles his brow. I would prefer not to use the term sacked, but yes, the attack went off flawlessly. We removed Taraho from the equation, confiscated its arms, and destroyed its smithing facilities. The assault gave our forces considerable breathing room and knocked the enemy off balance. Nonetheless, during the assault, I instructed my men to leave a gap open to our lines. In our lines? Why would you do that? Taro had a significant civilian population. I wanted to ensure that they could escape the fighting, and many did, finding refuge in the north. There are some, even in High Alliance High Command, who argue that I let an opportunity slip away, that I should have taken hostages, but I don't see the value in those sort of terror tactics. Hear me out, Artraxius. I want this war to end someday. I will never stop if we butcher or imprison civilians. I just pray out there that there are those on the other side who see things as I do. Light bless you. Go with honor, friend. Fields of blood? The Horde has taken to call in this region the Fields of Blood. It's an apt name. These reeds run red with the blood of some of my best men. I've sent our recon patrols to crush the quill bore and report on the Horde troop movements, but not all of them return. They could use your support out there. Patrol the fields and seek out the desolation grunts that are causing us so much grief. Do not expect them to surrender. Their war chief has instructed them to fight to the death. For the Alliance. Be careful. A line in the dirt. Strategically, control of the region requires constant observation. See here on this map, I've identified a number of strategic hills, similar to this one, that the Alliance must acquire if we are to keep the enemy under our thumb. My scouts have already marked their location on the field. What I need is someone to spearhead their capture, and you're the man for the job. Seek out neutral grey flags on hills to the northeast and south of the Torahu ruins. Capture one and defend it. Sam Trolley. Out with it! Do not waste my time. Quickly, quickly. That's an interesting name. Well, good name. And also, uh, accent. Respect the Lord Atraxius, a ferocious killer. You gotta admire the elegance of the beast. Muscles and claws running down its food is so primal. I'm sorry, my mind wanted. As I was saying, I respect these lions. But they're just murder on our patrols. I mean, they literally, the men are afraid to go out to the bathroom alone at night. Could you help make our camp a little safer? Baron's lions like to linger under trees. What is that noise? Oh, that sounds like somebody's been put to sleep. But he put himself to sleep. Alright, so desolation of blood. Uh, oh, fields of blood. Lion's pride. And there's a line right there. 
Yeah, like the, uh, the model for this lion needs to be updated. I don't quite understand why it's never been done, because there is a new model for lions. And I think it's even in the Cataclysm. I think it is. Sorry, the Cataclysm zone. Uh, 85 zones. Or 80 to 85 zones. Defend the hill. Becomes a horde. Take our flag. Have they given up? Nope. Here they come. What's that? Six. Somewhat foolish coming in one at a time. Unless they had some sort of plan, but whatever plan they had fell through. Must have been a thing where there were like two orcs ago talking to the tour and goes, Alright, we'll all go together. Uh, you go first though. We'll be right behind you. Are you sure? Yeah, it's alright. I'll be. I'll be. We'll be here. Don't worry about it. Oh, I gotta tie my shoelaces. Success, the hill is yours. Well, the hill might be ours, but I've still got three more enemies to defeat. And find them over there. Desolation. Grunts. Hello there. They all fall down. Saber snout. A little further over. Is that a rare? It is too. Snort the heckler. Raiders, Cloak of the Aurora, you're going on my back, and Classic Alchemy, the Elixir of Giant Growth, alright, here we are, let's blow this horn, I said we were going to fight him in front of everybody else, but, oh here they come, What's this, Gurgle Snort? The human has come to challenge the mighty Saber Snout. I will make an example of human. Prepare yourself, soft for face. Ooh, the Cobalt Rush. Get stunned. You, uh, you are strong, strong enough for the bull apocalypse. <laughs> you survived the boars. I must break you now. Oh, they're running in fear. Snort, gurgle. 
I like the bow apocalypse. That was good. Well done. <laughs> okay, so I've got four quests to hand in. Let's see how we're doing with our chapters. We're at four of seven. And we're currently at forward command. A couple more episodes and we'll probably be what ready to move on. Superstout, is he dead? What's the news? Be careful. A boar apocalypse, you say? Ha! These animals certainly have a unique idea of single combat. Oh, no matter, you've done well. With a quill boar in chaos, I should have no trouble convincing the field commanders to execute any strays they find scurrying about. The general need not know about, uh, we've stepped up the campaign. It's for the better. For the alliance. For the alliance, immediately replaced. With that, King's honor, friend. Like actually, before we hand in the rest, we should find somebody too. Why are they all aiming this way? Why is that guy standing there? Gentlemen, our business is murder. What do you say? Is murder? Our business is murder, and business is good. What can I do for you? All right, so I want to just get rid of all this stuff. Got two recipes. Giant growth. See you later. Light be with you. For the Alliance. Very good. We may never drive the Horde completely from these lands, but with a strong presence, we can undermine their will to fight. Light bless you. Be careful. Your report, Paladin. That general updates his map as you describe your victory. Incredible, Atraxius. You're a real asset to the Alliance. I'll see to it that my men follow your example. Go with honor, friend. Hawthorne's shield. Cool. Still like this guy, but uh, it's time to move on. Light bless you. Clap him in irons. Our policy of conscripting non-violent criminals from the Stormwind Stockades has come back to haunt us. Atraxius, some of my less scrupulous soldiers broke ranks after our victory in Tarahu and are uh, looting the remains of the city. This is a breakdown of discipline. Worse, the desecration of their homes only spares, spurs the enemy to fight harder when our ultimate goal should be peace. Take these manacles and bring the Tarahu looters to justice. Speak to them first, but you may need a force to subdue them. Be careful. Got a hammer. Hammer ready to go. What? Nice work. How was it? Did you employ the hunt? Or oh, enjoy the hunt? Employ the hunt? Enjoy the hunt? Did you run through tall grasses? The scent of your prey urging you forward until you leapt at its throat. Adrenaline surging as your slavering fangs. Well, something like that. Watch your back. Sam Trolley, eh? Where are you from? Hey, where are you from? Somewhere up north? On the other island? On the other land? It's true what they say. An army marches on its stomach. And we be marching a long way. I'm thinking if we barbecue up a few of those giant lumbering storm snouts, we'll have enough meat to feed us for weeks. Storm snouts are big and slow, so they should be easy to kill. Except... Hey, you're not carrying any metal on you, are you? Off you go! Just barely struggling to contain Brief. what's what's within. The Tarahu briefs. The general is too preoccupied with the looters in Tarahu. Ah, too soft. We ought to be focused on our next move against the Horde. There's valuable intelligence that might be compromised if we allow the ruins of Tarahu to continue to burn. While you're running the general's errand, Dig around for any maps or notes you can find. I can speak a little of the Orcish tongue. I'll be able to make sense of what you find. For the Alliance. Right. Well, before we do the stake, let's go to Tarahu. 